Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and as we know, Angular 11 has been released. And in this video, we will uh, going to learn about a feature of Angular 11, which is updated hot module replacement. So uh, even this feature is also uh, present in the previous version also. But that time, if we just want to use this version, we need to uh, add some configuration, and then we can use this feature. But now we can just simply use this feature with the minus minus hmr command. So what is that feature? First of all, let's talk about it and then we will install Angular, we will check version and then we will test HMR, right? So before that feature, whenever a developer actually uh, making up application and whenever he will just uh, make some changes inside the code, then the complete application will be reload once and then we can just check out the changes. But whenever we will use the hyphen hyphen HMR command, our, our screen uh, actually don't reload and the, our changes will update automatically, right? And screen will be stable here. And what is the benefit of it? So benefit is that, so let's say you are working with the HTML form and uh, something like that for uh, validation and all, right? But that time, if you just want to uh, add some logic and just uh, save the code, then in the previous case, the complete form will be going to going empty and then you need to just add the old validation and old data again with the form. But with that feature, the old data in a form will be uh, there and just uh, updated thing will be added without reloading our screen. I will show you how. So uh, first of all, I'm just going to jump on my dashboard and uh, let's open CMD and uh, add a new project, Angular project. So if you don't know how to install Angular uh, CLI and Node and all, then link is given in the description box. You can watch our previous complete playlist, right? So for that, we have a command ng new blog 11 is my application name and uh, ng uh, basically a command line and new means a new application and this is our application name, right? And uh, here we started. So whenever it will just uh, install then i will show you the our application version is 11 if our application version is not 11 it is 10 on or 9 then hmr model not going to work right so keep in mind that so whenever we are installing actually angular ask for some questions so we can just choose whatever we want because these options are not related to hmr right and uh, now let's wait for a moment to install it and then we will just check all things so great our uh, angular application has been installed so now just go to this fo this folder with the cd and your project name and now let's uh, just run the code dot command this command will open your project in a visual studio code if this is installed if this is not installed that command will not gonna work and uh, after that, just uh, uh, run, first of all, uh, let's check out the version and all. Just uh, go to the package.json. And here you can see that Angular animation, uh, common compiler, core forms, browser, uh, platform browsers and all, everything have the 11th version. So that's uh, the thing that we, I just want to tell you that uh, now the Angular actually uh, updated with the 11th version and now our and uh, HMR model will be gonna work with that. If uh, your application version is 10, because uh, due to some uh, older version of CLI and all, then HMR version will not going to work. And now just run here, uh, first ng sir command. I will just show you that what actually happened whenever we will just use only ng sir command, right? Without uh, hyphen hyphen HMR. And after that, I will show you how it's actually work with the HMR command also, right? So let's wait for a moment to just make a build for it. So now application is uh, uh, in a running mode. So we can just uh, directly put here on localhost colon 4200. And uh, now whenever we will just uh, make any change, you will see that application browser completely reload like this, right? So let me just, uh, uh, open a app dot 
html app dot component dot html and let's let's make any changes so i just want to add some uh, text here and you will see that whenever we will just uh, make some changes here the complete action will be uh, application will be reload right so i am just going to put here my name like anil sindhu and just save it right and now you can see that complete application is actually reloading here right so again let's again see here right and our name is updated here so this is the older way but uh, there is a problem whenever we are working with the form and all and uh, we just already added some data and want to add some functionality on our submit button and on then uh, after just writing the code the complete form will, will be gonna empty and this is really bad and timing time time consuming process for a developer right so now just uh, stop it and now just use here ng serve minus minus hmr right and this is uh, the command i already told you right so now again let's open here and uh, whenever this com our build will be ready we can easily see that our uh, changes will be updated here without reloading the whole browser right so build is ready now just uh, refresh a browser for a moment because sometimes it's not working it's need a one manual refresh right and now i'm just going to add here remove here then my name and uh, you can just see that browser is actually not reload and uh, the name is just removed from here let's try to add again this name there is a no reload for the browser and name is added here right so this is the basically power of uh, hmr uh, uh, command so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel again i just want to tell you you don't need to read complete angular again in angular 11th version just read the new topic if you already know the uh, previous version right so there is a nothing more you don't need to just uh, catch a complete new playlist so bye bye take care